And this is why plumbers shouldn't do electrics. Oh no, disaster. Oh, my hand doesn't bend that way. Playing a dangerous game right now. Oh no. No, I can't, I can't. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Arts and Electrics. Today we're back at a property we tested a few weeks ago. This is our second day doing remedials. Done the fuse board yesterday and a few little bits. And today we've got some faults to find because we believe we've got a shared neutral on a couple of the circuits. And uh, there's a cooker circuit that we believe has been hit by kitchen fitters. I'm not sure we're gonna get it all done today, but yeah, we'll nice. give it our best shot. measured off the window so if I drill down kind of at an angle then I should end up fairly near the middle. Off a brick. Oh yeah. Now we always always hit the mortar line isn't it? Always. Wait what circuit was it on? Uh, let's try the kitchen one. Uh, what one was that? That one? Yep. But it's off. It's just some really it's, it's been through the washing machine twice and oh. it still works. That's impressive. <laughs> My hay fever sucks. Straight down. Only an ever so slight angle to the left. Remember, you got to right, count. Okay. Don't do more. So yeah, aim. Yeah, more like straight. That. Yeah. Constantly in the way. You can take it off if you want. Uh, yeah, I might as well. Just turn the hammer off to try and stop the brick pop. Oh, look at that. Look at that, mate. That is perfect. Yeah? I don't know if I believe you yet. Oh, chef's kiss. Look at that. Right on the mortar line. I told you. No, we always, always hit the mortar line, isn't it? Always. John's guidance. The pro guidance. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday we flipped this consumer unit. Uh, Ruben replaced the down lights in here. And there were some under cabinet connector blocks that were exposed. We've still got to look into this circuit, which has no earth. We're going to hoping to find it in the ceiling somewhere, the cable, and then attach onto it and then get it down somehow behind these kitchen cabinets. The bathroom light was replaced. I think there was a socket replaced as well. An earthing problem with the switch that Ruben sorted out. We still have quite a lot to do today. At the moment, these two circuits are tripping at the same time when a unknown piece of equipment's coming off on. So we think there may be a shared neutral somewhere. So I've got to try and isolate it now and find out which piece of equipment is coming on and causing it to trip. I think it's got the shower, immersion and underfloor heating. So I'll go and turn one of them on and see if we get it to trip. Okay, I have to turn it on. Set, yes. Floor temperature 19, are you heating? That sounds like it's turning on, right? So I'm guessing that's on. Uh, that socket down there, mm. is it on a ring? Uh, it's all down on a 20 amp. Everything's been reduced to 20 oh, amp, so nice. it doesn't matter okay. if you tap off it. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like a spur off the ring. I was like, ooh. <laughs> okay. No, it's all good, mate. Cool. And look, it's holding now. It was tripping when I got here. I hate intermittent faults. Perfect. Let's move on with a kitchen fault. I'm waiting for it, to, wait for it to trip again. Stick my hand up here and see if I can find a six mil. Is that six mil? That could be it. Rubbish. Surely that's got to be it. So at the moment, I'm looking for the six pound cable coming over to here. Um, it has no earth in it currently. And we think it's been hit by the kitchen fitters because when I was doing an insulation resistance test, I was getting a reading to one of the uh, fixing screws. Hopefully that video has been up already. Maybe we can leave a link to it. 
but hopefully I can find the correct cable, join onto it and take a new leg from the, if it's been damaged from here down to the cooker and get the earth reinstated. Just to know if this is the correct one. I wish my volt stick would uh, light up. That one. Yeah, I might get Ruben to turn that on and off. Let's just borrow the lad. Your mission if you choose to accept it. <laughs> this one, yep. you can just flick it on and off as I say. Right. Yep. Oh, there's a light there. Off. On. Off. On. Off. I'm pretty sure it's that one. Thanks, mate. Perfect. It wants to move. You want to move, didn't you? Oh, there's a, there's a cabinet there. I feel like a bomb disposal expert right now. So we find that we've got the wrong one. Oh, my hand doesn't bend that way. Why don't I get croppers? I'm gonna lose my cutters up there. Let me get croppers. It's so close. Oh, there it goes. Oh. This cable doesn't like me. You can see my failed attempt there. I'm chopping through it. So I'm gonna um, now check this piece of cable and check that we have got an earth on it now. That will just prove that we've got a decent piece of cable here and this is duff and somehow we've got to get from here down to there. Mm -hmm. We'll see. <laughs> oh no, the earth's broken before this. Disaster. So the circuit's back on now. We've got 67 volts to earth. So this cable has been damaged, hit, I don't know what, before now. What a disaster. But it means that this potentially is okay and has continuity, but we now got to figure out why that doesn't have an earth. So yeah, I've just done an R1, R2 on that tiny link of cable, which I've just broken into and it's fine. So. The difficult part of getting down the wall is okay. Now we've just got to figure out why that cable doesn't have an earth. You can hear it across the ceiling. I think we'll have to cut a hole in the... Uh... Oh my God, that's gonna be a nightmare to get down to the board. We'll cut a hole in the bathroom ceiling and um, look for the cable there and then we can tie on and pull over to here on this. I can hear it moving. I wonder if we pull it across, a JB is going to come out on the end of it and uh, it's been jointed and the earth's not connected. If not, it was just damaged at some point somehow. tons of slack up here on that cable. One of the six mils comes down on this side of the board and the other one comes over here. That circuit, I'm pretty sure was an old cooker. Um, doesn't appear to be doing anything. And uh, I can feel right above this one coming up and I can see it moving. So I'm pretty sure that's our cable. So I'm just gonna get a ferret and see if I can chase it that way. So around the kitchen, there's been two that I fixed yesterday of just, they were kind of hanging, um, just connector blocks, and obviously it's not the best, so I've fixed two of them, put a chop box around them and fixed them to the bottom of um, this cupboard. Turns out we missed one though, so I'm doing that now. Look, that looks like the six mil going into a JB, which would, ex maybe that's the poor joint, let's try and get to the other side of it. Ooh, I can see some basic insulation. I'm pretty sure that is. So that might be where our break in the earth is. Right. 
wiggle that, you can just see that JB moving. So that's what our six mil is going into. And surely that's got to be where the brake is. So now we're going to have to try and find that JB or just pull really hard and see if it comes to us. <laughs> People just suck, don't they? So there's our cable going into it. I don't know if you can see from the camera, but there's one red and black coming out through the tiniest little hole. And they thought, nah, 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 we don't need us. <sighs> How am I gonna fix that? No amount of inspiration is gonna fix this. Can you give that cable a little wiggle in there again? Yeah. That six mil. I'm moving that one. Oh, I just think there's this really bad builders out there that just like making my life difficult. <laughs> Try another one. Uh, if you can feel one. Oh, that one's that one sounds promising. Is it that one? Wait, pull it. Yeah, yeah, it's that. It's that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's potentially a drawer over to there. Playing a dangerous game right now. Drilling near cables. Why did they cut the earth out? All these cables coming out are uh, the spurs, these two spurs. They're kind of like thrown about the loft going that way and the customers just asked if we could tidy it up, which is fine. So I'm just going to clip it across uh, where I can and if not, I'll just hide it under the, uh, the insulation and make it look neat. The easiest way to tidy it up, because there's so much slack, I'm gonna disconnect it from here, take it out, clip it from that side towards it, and then just re-terminate it so that it's nice and... I'll still leave slack, obviously, but it won't be as much. So we found the offending JB with all the earths cut out. So at the moment, I'm trying to drill from here through and into the extension pitched roof and hopefully get rods through, fish them out, tie on, pull them back to here, get them all the way back to the board and then have a JB above the ceiling. It's quite a difficult fish and quite an awkward job, so just keep everything crossed. No, it fell off. Oh, nailed it. So I'm just gonna tie on a new cable onto the rod I've managed to fish through, get that all the way back to consume unit, and then put a maintenance free joint box here so I don't have to disturb all of this tiled in finished uh, equipment. This is completely clear, this cable, and it's testing out fine. So as long as this pulls through, it should be golden. That's why it didn't have an earth. They literally just bent it out of the way and then live and neutral just connected through. And they end up putting the white hand of Saruman on him. <laughs> oh, that was a lot heavier than I thought. Is that a tumble dryer? Or a washing machine, do you think? Does Ruben need power? No. It's a bit ancient and they wired it up the wrong way. So they feed the fuse first, then the switch. We should go the other way around. Picked up on the EICR. I can show you something outside on the meter. So on this meter, as we've got solar, these old um, two rate meters will display. Give it a second. Here, there it is. Red, reverse energy detected. So the meter's grassing on you for doing running the meter backwards, basically but with solar energy, it feeds back into the meter and it will always display red, saying that it's had energy pass the opposite way. Um, they won't clock backwards, these digital meters, the old analogs ones will though. So the other lads uh, take the mic out of my old school test lamps. I have upgraded it to an LED, but this is what you used on networks, to be honest. It lights up. If, uh, the red one's saying it's uh, 400 volts, so as the tester goes down, that will go off. I mean, the proving unit doesn't sound that healthy, but <clears throat> I assure you, 
they work very well. <laughs> what is that? It's a 10 ton of expanding foam. Mankiness. And that's our incoming earth there, which seems like it's plastered in. The size of this switch fuse, it's not looking promising. I don't know, I just regret ever waking up this morning. The lug snapped off here, just to add to our woes of this cooker circuit. Right, so we've managed to get uh, a cooker cable completely wired. Just got to dob it into the board now. Got the switch fuse up. Uh, Ruben's tacked a load of cables in the loft. Uh, we've still got some other bits, to be honest. It's probably gonna be a bit of a late one. Oh, I'm gonna put that pendant back up. But our Artex patch, I'd give it about a two out of 10. It's, it's not too bad. <laughs> Last night when after I changed this fuse board, two of these circuits tripped out at the same time. So to me it means there's a, a link somewhere, a, a shared neutral for both of them to trip out. Because both circuits are thinking there's electricity or current going somewhere else. So they're doing their job and turning off. The fact they're doing it at the same time means normally there's a shared neutral somewhere, but it's not doing it now. Both circuits are holding and we've been trying to simulate the fault and it won't do it. So we're gonna try and turn on some appliances and find out what's on each circuit and try and simulate the fault while we're here. Basically, that's on one circuit, kitchen yeah. and that side. The rest of the house, upstairs, downstairs and outside where the cars are. Right. I think we just gotta start turning some things on to see what caused it to trip. Although I did turn some I mean, of the bits on. did trip while he was doing something? It came back and it was off. It's frustrating. It was like if, you, if you it can't. Was there and it happened, it was you can't like, simulate it. I'm wondering if there was excess solar and it turned on the immersion, but then that would have not. Was, oh, do you know? What? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? What do you want back in the garage or in the house? So circuit three does this immersion circuit, which has been spurred off multiple times. It does the immersion still? Does the shower? and does the underfloor heating. So there must be some kind of link between perhaps the underfloor heating. I can't see the shower being linked to the sockets because it's these sockets up here. Is that gone off around there? You should hear that fizzing in a minute. I mean, maybe a New York minute, I don't know. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? So the supply for the heating has been taken, the controls has been taken off the immersion circuit. However, the boiler's fed from the socket circuit. So as soon as the boiler calls for heat, the two circuits are linked and then trips out. So they've nicked the neutral. It's the only thing they've taken off of this circuit. And this is why plumbers shouldn't do electrics. Oh, <laughs> it fell out as well. <laughs> right, so we found the issue. Um, some bright plumber in the past needed a neutral. Um, so they've borrowed it off of the immersion literally one core off of a 1.5 flex, which fell out when I touched it, down to the wire in center, which is on the main ring. And that's what's causing its trip as it's causing, as it's calling for heat, this sharing a neutral, and then uh, knocking both RCBOs out. We're gonna try and refeed this or get a neutral from the correct circuit. We hope. Sorry, I'm, I'm shooting that straight at the camera. Where is it getting its life from then? Just looks like they've repurposed. This looks like it would have been a feed, but it looks like it's been repurposed as a switch line for the heating controls at some point. I've got to try and find out where that goes now and see if I can make it a neutral again. I have a lynch mob of plumbers after me now to keep slagging them off. Okay, that must be a pair that comes from upstairs. That's the feed to the boiler. There's a neutral. What's going on here? What's our light incoming live? Right, when this is rolled up, do not step on this part of it. Yep. Just for the fun. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no. <sighs> no. No, I can't. I can't. I can't fix this. 
There's chipboard floor inside. <laughs> I don't suppose a plumber ripped some of it up in the past, have they? Oh, a picture says a thousand words. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a socket in the bedroom that's on the same wall. Right, um, so we were gonna try and rectify this issue. However, as you may have heard from my whelp, um, there's chipboard flooring and it's just a nightmare to lift up. Um, I haven't got a circular saw on me to try and get a channel up. So we're gonna try and get what we can done on, on the rest of the quote for the client. Yeah, come back and get the rest of this sorted another time. But it's not ideal, but unfortunately these are the things you come across. You can't see everything on any ICR, especially shared neutrals. Okay, uh, today hasn't gone that well in all honesty. We're just putting in a temporary fix for now and we're gonna return to do a permanent fix on that shared neutral uh, just to get us out of, tr of trouble today. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.